YouTube, how's it going? Biker Mike here. This video is going to be on diagnosing a cracked cylinder head on a General Motors 5.3 liter Vortec engine. Uh, basically, this is the second time it's happened to my truck. Um, first time was on the passenger side, and the most recent time is on the driver's side passenger side went at about 60,000 miles and the driver side went at about 170,000 miles so uh, yeah I guess I just had a bad batch of heads and they were the cast tech heads and those cast tech heads were prone to cracking uh, the first symptoms I noticed were on startup I had a lot of lifter noise and a little bit of blue smoke out the tailpipe but the blue smoke uh, wasn't oil it didn't smell like oil I'm pretty sure that was the deck school burning off so to confirm what I suspected was a cracked head what I did was just pulled the valve covers off and uh, had a look under there to pull the uh, valve covers off it's pretty simple it looks pretty involved but it's really not you just need to take off the coil packs they're all packed together on a bracket and it's just some 10 millimeter bolts or nuts on there and you just take that off and then pop the valve cover off and you can have a look under the valve cover to uh, see if there's a bunch of sludge under there and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute I'm just going to show you how to take these coil packs off and the valve cover so the first thing you need to do is disconnect this connector right here for your coil packs. Then you're going to need to remove these five studs on the bracket for the coil packs. And then you can just move the whole bracket down off to the side. So once the coil pack's off to the side, you can take off the valve cover and there's just four eight millimeter bolts to remove that. Once you get those bolts off, there's also this vent tube that comes off the back of the valve cover, right there. And then you can just pull the valve cover off and have a look underneath it. And here you can see all that nice, thick, goopy, caramel-like sludge from the deck school and oil mixing together. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, having that stuff rolling around inside the engine so you kind of want to catch this as soon as possible so you can save the rest of the motor um, like I said you're gonna notice the lifter noise and the lifter noise is obviously caused by the sludge clogging up the uh, hydraulic lifters and not allowing them to get the oil they need to you know stop all that racket sounding like a diesel truck and looking like a diesel truck with the old blue smoke chooching out the tailpipe a couple other things you can check to uh, verify the cracked head is obviously your coolant level will be going down with no visible signs of any leak on the motor you can also check the uh, oil fill cap after you shut your truck off just open up that, have a look in there, and you'll probably notice some steam and vapor coming out of the top of the valve cover. So those couple things, 
combined with uh, the evidence from this video, you're going to be pretty certain that you have a cracked head. Now you can compare this valve cover to the other valve cover and you can see how much less sludge is on the other side of the engine. Uh, there's still a little bit because it all kind of circulates around in there but there's definitely way way less so that'll tell you which side you have a cracked head on and you can decide from there if you're going to replace the head or if you want to replace the whole engine. I figured I caught it in time so I'm not going to bother replacing the whole engine and I'm just going to replace the head. I picked up a remanufactured head from AutoZone for I think it was $280 after the $100 core exchange. So not too bad of a price for that and the truck was definitely worth putting it in. So I went ahead and had my mechanic at a shop do the whole job for me. Uh, just because I thought it was just a little bit out of my scope. Here's some more evidence of a couple of photos I cropped together of the left and right cylinder head showing the rockers in there. You can see the picture on the right. It's got the orangey burnt tinge to it. Obviously the side that cracked you can even see down in the bottom there by the valve springs. Um, a little glob of sludge. And uh, yeah, it just reconfirms it all, so that's what you'll want to look for when you're determining if you have a cracked cylinder head. I actually did pressure test the system, and it actually tested out okay. So that alone doesn't really tell you the story. You really need to pull those valve covers off and have a look. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll probably be doing more videos on this old truck of mine. My dirt bikes, snowmobiles, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys later.